really started by accident. We put together a fundraiser for Hurricane Sandy, contacted a local business in Windsor, asked if they would be the host restaurant site for us to do an eating competition that Jamie was part of because he had been doing the competitive eating. Conversations just kind of led to us renting some counter space from that restaurant. And we, Jamie tried out maybe one or two briskets. We uh, served up some people on a Saturday and we never shut our doors after that. You know, we've recently hired a couple managers to help take some of the load off of us, but it's, you know, it's 18 to 20 hours a day, seven days a week, and nobody's going to care about your restaurant like you do. You know, every penny we made our entire lives is into these restaurants. Our original business plan was supposed to be a five-year plan, and we've already, <laughs> we're done with it, you know, so. Um, needs to be revised. No, but in the very, uh, I'd say this year, the, the goal is to open a third location to get a food truck out on the streets. Expand catering. Yeah, really expand catering. That's our big focus is corporate catering. And really it's, it's, it's more about changing the perception of barbecue. You know, I think especially in the Northeast where it's more considered, you know, a messy food, an informal food. Once you get people, especially the, like I said, the corporate catering, you get them to, to use you and they say, okay, it's not messy. You know, we can have this for a business lunch. And it's just, it's educating people, I'd say it is. But no, at least one more spot this year. The most rewarding part comes when customers come up to you at the end of their meal and they say, wow, we thought we knew barbecue, but this is absolutely by far the best that we've ever had.